overhead pressing, what muscles are involved, how to do it, what to avoid, that's what we'll talk about now. So watch till the end so you don't miss anything. The overhead press, one of the best upper body exercises. Scrap that. One of the best exercises, period. What muscles do we need for the overhead press? The main movers of the exercise are the front part of the shoulder, the anterior deltoid and the triceps. And the side part of the shoulder and the upper chest are also involved. And even the upper traps and the serratus get some work. The serratus is this cool muscle that looks like a sawtooth. And if you do it standing, the upper back and the whole core has to work to keep you stable. How much the side delts are involved depends on the variation of the overhead press. Dumbbells will involve the side delts more than barbells and standing also targets the side delts more than sitting. We already talked about the standing dumbbell version once and today we're gonna talk about the standing barbell version. The starting position looks like this. Bar resting in your hands, directly over your elbows. Forearms about perpendicular to the ground, slightly in front and to the side of the body. Generally, the grip width will just be a bit outside of shoulder width, but play around a bit and see what fits you best. How low your starting position is will depend on your anatomy. Some say you need to touch your upper chest. I don't think that's necessary for everyone. Because for example, if you have very long forearms compared to your upper arms, it will be very hard for you to touch your chest without letting your elbows travel back. So start as low as you feel comfortable. If you can touch your chest, Fine. If your starting position is just below your chin, fine too. To get into the starting position, set the bar up in the rack just below your starting position height, so that you only need to lift the bar out a bit with your legs to be in the correct position. Alternatively, you can also clean the bar up from the floor. But due to the fact that the clean is much more technically demanding, it's probably best to pick the bar out of the rack if you have the option to do so. To start the movement, first you need to move your head out of the way. Because in the overhead press, we want the bar path to be a straight line. As you can see, if you don't move your head, you will hit yourself. So you need to move it out of the way. Do this by moving your head back and making a double chin. This way the bar should be able to pass just in front of your face. Some people also like to flip their chin up to make space for the bar. That's also a version you can try. As soon as the bar is past your head, you want to move your head forward. This creates more space in the shoulder joint and also puts all joints directly over one another. This is what we call stacking the joints and it's a very stable position. So you have the bar in your hands, elbows, shoulders, hips, knees and ankles all pretty much in one straight line. This is also where you should breathe during the overhead press. Not while pressing up, not while lowering the bar and not in the bottom position. You breathe at the top of the movement. When breathing, also make sure to really brace your core. Compared to other big exercises, the loads used in the overhead press are quite light. But due to the fact that you have this load over your head and so quite far away from your own center of mass, there is still a large amount of stability and total body stiffness required. Especially once you start pressing 50% or more of your own body weight. The downwards movement, the eccentric, just looks like the upward movement in reverse. So you once again need to move your head out of the way once the bar is around head height in order to not hit yourself. A cue that really helps a lot with the overhead press is imagining yourself opening a window, pushing it up and then sticking your head out. Also don't look at the bar, especially once it's past your head. Looking at the bar often leads to you leaning back more and also pushing the bar more in front. And that's not what we want because this way the bar will be farther away from your center of mass. And we will also have less range of motion in the shoulder joint. So to avoid this, press the bar straight up while moving your head out of the way. The barbell overhead press is suited for pretty much all rep ranges. You can do singles, sets of 6 to 8 are great, sets of 10 to 12 will get you wealth, and even sets of 15 or more will not make you poor. For the most part, I prefer to do the overhead press with the barbell below 10 reps. Just because the dumbbell version is hard to set up with heavier weights, so I usually do my higher rep work with the dumbbells, and this leaves the lower rep stuff the heavier pressing for the barbell. The overhead press is also a really good indicator of how good your core stability is. This exercise is really demanding when it comes to total body stiffness. So if you're limited by your pressing power and not your stability, chances are that your core is quite strong in a very functional way. If you have a list of six or so movements that are always in your training plan, then some sort of overhead press should for sure always be included. Not just for the delt and tricep gains, but also because being able to press vertically is a very useful skill. We will look at different overhead pressing variations in another video. That's all for today's video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, then please leave me a like and subscribe and also write some comments. It really helps the algorithm and it also makes my day. So why not leave a comment? You're also very welcome to leave me some criticism down in the comments below. This was Fred. Thanks for watching.